uh, the, the, the OBO or One Belt, One Road initiative uh, was formulated by Chinese president in 2013. And uh, in the framework of this uh, uh, initiative, there are a lot of things that we can do together with the Middle Eastern countries because uh, the, this initiative uh, argues for a joint construction uh, uh, at least in four areas China can cooperate with Middle Eastern countries. The first is energy security because China and the Middle Eastern countries rely on each other for import and export security so we can uh, intensify our cooperation in energy security. And secondly, uh, China is ready to develop uh, industrial cooperation with the Middle Eastern countries because uh, what we are observing is kind of a second wave of industrialization in the Middle East or reindustrialization uh, waves in the Middle East. And the third area is uh, uh, construction of uh, infrastructures. Uh, China has strong capacity in, uh, the, in this regard and uh, there is a shortage of infrastructure in many Middle Eastern countries. So that is also an area where we can cooperate. The, the fourth one is financial cooperation. Both China and the GCC countries are uh, countries that hold uh, a large amount of uh, uh, sovereign uh, funds uh, abroad. And if we uh, add Chinese one to the GCC one, that may account for around 70% of the world total. This is a very strong financial power that we can make use of to support our cooperation in the energy sector, uh, industrial cooperation, and the infrastructure construction. I think the uh, sectarian uh, conflict is uh, uh, part of uh, Middle East politics and uh, uh, in recent years uh, this factor uh, has uh, contributed to the uh, instability of this region. Uh, for external power, you know, China argues that uh, because of the complexity of uh, the uh, sources of uh, conflicts in this region, we could not uh, hope to resolve this kind of conflict uh, by um, using military forces instead uh, dialogue would be more, much more important. So China encourages uh, the uh, resolution of conflict by dialogue. And as our president uh, Xi Jinping put it when he visited uh, Egypt uh, in, uh, uh, 19, in 2016, uh, China uh, would use the uh, dialogue as a uh, 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 golden law uh, in order to cope with the uh, Middle Eastern uh, conflicts. I think the, uh, the uh, One Belt, One Road initiatives are conceived as the Chinese prescription or Chinese solution you know, for uh, the uh, uh, in the benefits of the world economy as well as regional economies. Uh, because we're facing a kind of uh, economic crisis nowadays in the world, how to step out of that crisis? Uh, the Chinese view is to uh, achieve that by intensifying regional integration, by uh, inten intensify the connectiveness you know, among the regional uh, economies and also believe that that would ultimately benefit economic development of 
the uh, region concern, the country concern, and would benefit the uh, people's uh, welfare in this region. And China always believed that uh, uh, development, especially economic development, would also be a very important part for conflict uh, resolution.